everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, good morning. It's Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? My desk is a complete mess, but hey, that's part of life, right? Well, part of an art life. Um, anyways, I'm coming to you today because I gotta move this stuff back a little bit. Um, I have a, another, another completed grab and glue journal. Um, I've been working on the last couple that you've seen for quite a while. And they, what I like to do is when I'm sitting at night with my husband and just chilling out and we're watching something on Netflix, I usually bring, I'll show you, hang on, it's right here. I have these little notebooks. I got these at Staples on clearance for like two bucks, okay? And then I have these little pockets in here. And what they hold, this one's all scraps, a little bit bigger scraps. And then this one's got tags and just maybe some pockets, maybe some texture in it. Okay, so this is one that I have with me. All right, so there's one. This is the second one that I have with me. And again, I got these the staples on the clearance rack for like $2 a piece. <coughs> and then this one has all words, just cut out of magazines. Um, this one has smaller images, um, either I've cut out of magazines or handmade embellishments or die cuts or a piece of scrapbook paper that I cut down because I found a piece on it I really liked. Um, you know, magazine things, you know, it's all just stuff. And then this one has people in it. I'm sorry, not people. Yeah, it has some people. It has focal points, basically. A um, couple little houses, butterfly, one of Gina's birds. This guy I cut out of a National Geographic. This is a Tim Holtz paper dolls. So um, that one has more of like a focal point. And then this is bigger focal points, I believe. Let me see. Um, that's little ones. Oh, that's a receipt. You know, just odds and ends. I love these guys. I really wish I could figure out what this magazine is. It's driving me crazy, and I have yet to figure it out, and I just love the illustration of these people. So if you recognize this, please, please, please leave me a note below and tell me what this is, because I just love it. Um, so anyways, there's more, you know, bigger focal points in here. Um, big old guitar. So anyways, I sit at night, and... Uh, this particular one is a an old, um, I shouldn't say old, it's a lush uh, mailer that they sent to me. Um, for a while I was buying the lush shampoos and stuff, which are really nice. Um, so anyways, that's what this is. This is, an, is a lush flyer that came in the form of just a little paper book. Looking to see if I have another one here. I don't see it right handy. So um, so anyways, like I said, I sit down and I just start gluing stuff down and I start playing. And then once I get done gluing down, like just the basic backgrounds, then I do different, you know, other things. I put in, you know, little pictures, maybe some washi. This is a letter, a number, little hedgehog guy. Um, and just, I just have fun with them. Let's start with the first page. <clears throat> So, uh, life with bugs. I thrive by not being stuck in one area. <laughs> that was, that made me crack up. I don't know why. But. Um, so, like, this doesn't make any sense. Navel oranges. It means absolutely nothing on this page. But it's just, I don't know. I just have a lot of fun doing these. Hang on just a second. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Hubs had to check in this morning and see what was up. I told him I was recording. So, um, again, you know, it just, I put the hand here, reasons to feel good. So, five reasons to feel good. And you know what? That little piece is coming off. So, let's put this down good. Let's see. There we go. 
so that's down. But like I said, you know, I sit and I'll just... This one really has no rhyme or reason to it. It says, to wonderful you, keep out. You know, just no rhyme or reason. I just, I enjoy having fun with these. I enjoy putting them together. This is actually a piece of art that someone had sent to me. Uh, Dawn Collins, maybe? Something Collins? I just love her. I think she's great. It says she loves her polka dots. And I do. I love polka dots. So, out of magazines, I believe. Um, some of this, um, people that have sent me Happy Mail, you might recognize some of these in here. This was a face that someone had done like a jelly print face. And I just put it down and just played. It's in your blood. I just thought that was kind of cool. And see, it really doesn't make any sense. Here's here's music. Yeah, down here, there's uh, old cars, street rods. <coughs> so, eyeballs. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, there's a button. Uh, but it's just really fun. I really, really enjoy doing these. This just says purple, best friends. And this little girl here, she's got her crown on. He's got a crown on, best dressed, a little birdie on his shoulder. You know, just um, bits and pieces, you know, old scrapbook paper and that one says where memories take hold and never let go, your world. I'm pretty sure she's a Jane Davenport girl. Um, I think she... I'm pretty sure I cut her out of something. So that's a Jane Tavenport girl. But I mean, I just, I really enjoy putting these together. I know there's more than one page here. And like I said, this started out just a little newspaper magazine and look how sturdy they are now. So, you know, even if you get just, this is like a little, like I said, a newspaper, I'm getting glare. What's up with the glare? Huh, let's pull it that way. Um, you know, I just, by gluing everything on, you know, don't be afraid of them falling apart. Because if you glue enough, down, enough stuff down, they're not going to fall apart. Again, this just came out of a magazine. This is out of a magazine. What if? Creative journal. This actually came off the back of a Dilusions or on a Dilusions journal, the strip. One of Gina's stamps. Um, this came. This uh, arrow came from a swap a couple years ago. We did arrows on Crazy Island University. We did a bunch of swaps. Summer fun meant to be. Just odds and ends. Oops, and I see a little dot here. I forgot to put white on. Look at that. See, I did white there and there, but I didn't do white here. There we go. Close enough. This I cut out of a magazine. Um, this, I think, is a Dina Wakely bird done on deli paper. This is, I believe, one of Gina's faces. And again, I just um, put stuff down. It, it doesn't, you know, a W and an R. It doesn't make, you know, make sense. But it's cool. I en really enjoy doing these books. <coughs> Hidden Treasure, Marilyn Monroe. You are my number one. This is a stamp set that I received and I did some embossing on. A leaf from, it's like a little plastic leaf. Some hearts from a punch I've got. Old scrapbook paper. Old jelly print paper. Making memories. Isn't that what this is all about? <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> but it's just fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> one of Gina's birds. Got one of my handmade flowers on his head. What? <laughs> you know, just... This is an old scrap from um, something I had used a punch on. See, you can tell that they're scraps. They're just, nothing is uh, normal shaped, I should say. You know, it's not all cut and square. 
There's another little piece. And again, it's in layers. Um, I may put down a couple pieces of scrapbook paper and not like it, and then I just start putting stuff over top of it to break it up or just play. You're courageous. I'm not sure what this little guy's doing down here. Checking out her legs, I guess. Past, present, and future. This little guy with googly eyes up here. Chakra. It says, moving the body opens the door to spirit. That's the same with the mind. This little bird. Piece of a border. Again, this is old. I don't know. I think it's um one of those papers when you buy a pack. Um, I think they have them either in Michael's or AC Moore's of like the one pound scrap papers. I think that's what this came from. Yeah, all shook up Elvis Presley. Just a picture of a... a People, they call them vinyl now, a record, back in our time, my time. Um, that's just a picture of a card. It's not actually a card. This little girl, um, my sister had given me a bunch of these. They're like little old cards. Like um, They open up the same shape, and they're just a Victorian-style card. Well, I took a bunch of them, and I just made copies of them, and I used the pictures in the art. This is a Julia Nutting um, doll that I got off a of packaging of one of her stamps. Just childhood memories, it says. Piece of duct tape. Just odds and ends. This is a napkin. I really didn't do much to her. just kind of left her as is. <laughs> she has no head, but it says, Hello, darling. Hmm, this guy. Cut him out of a magazine. He was kind of cool. Just fragile piece. You know, a key from a swap or else a stamp. I have no idea what this is here. Maybe his luggage? I don't know. He's sitting on something that I had embossed. A little flower I made. Uncommonly good. No wonder it's popular, it says. Of course, you recognize him. He's a Tim Holtz. Uh, no, he's not. He's um, a copy of something. I can't remember. Like I said, just odds and ends. Piece of a map. This is a dress form here. It's funny because I come back and I look at it and I think, what was I thinking? But, you know, this girl here, she has a skirt and leg bottom and then a funky top and head. So... Put a couple wings on her. It says growing like a weed. And here's a kitty cat. Teacup. I mean, it's just so random. <clears throat> Beauty and the Beast. Um, that's just a piece of the spinny paint that I did at one point. This is a plastic. I don't know if you can see that. See how it... See it? It's a piece of, like, plastic that has all of these... Um, like when you put it through a mink, that's what this is. It's the leftover foil. Random border, apple, no idea. Just fun. <laughs> Escape to paradise. I just thought that was cool. Just odds and ends. All dressed up and ready. Don't know ready for what, but just fun. He was a copy. Somewhere I got a copy of this guy. This came out of a magazine. This is the plastic that, um, on packaging, I had cut a bunch of strips at one point and done alcohol inks on them. And then I just used them in my journals. Just says, I am. That's one of Gina Aaron's stamps. This is a punch, this mason jar here. Again, she was cut out of a magazine. Old jelly prints. <clears throat> a random flower. There you go. So there we are. Another completed grab and glue journal. I'm on this kick this year. Look at this is funny. Look how far the pages came out, but it's all still whole. It's not 
falling apart. So that's really cool. Um, but anyways, I'm on a kick uh, this year. I'm on a mission. There's a lot of journals that I've started that are partially finished that need to get completed. So here's one of them, another grab and glue journal to go on my shelf. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll chat with you guys later. Have a great day. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!